I apologize for whatever music is in the background. Um, today I'm reading Touch Me, TBHK, which is Toilet Bound Hanaga-kun by, by Sugarash. Um, there's like a dash before Sugarash, so it's a dash, S-U-G-A-R-U-S-H. Um, I skipped the prologue, so I'm just going to get straight into chapter one. Puss in school shoes. Uh, there's an image. Um, I'm not going to read the image out. Because it's like from like a manga of sorts. A certain young girl sat on the toilet seat, a proud smile conquering the best of her face, took a handful of minutes to take off the lower part of her pesky suit. But the feeling of the freezing surface of the ceramic toilet touching the fragility of her buns was totally worth it. Oop. The name of this odd bull is Chiba Wayan, a teenager who was currently in kindergarten. Yes, in kindergarten. You read that right. The strange author did not make a typo in that part. This is because it was not too long ago that she just started schooling. One great factor for this is that she was born with a rare case of autoimmune disease. Due to this fact, it took her lengthy duration to get adjusted with the harsh grasp of the outside world, although the type of disease was not the severe kind in where the mere dust in the air would choke on an individual. Her life is still pretty much dragging because of it. Her immune system does not have the ability to protect her from the bacteria residing in other people's skin. That's why it was impossible for her to have any physical contact with the aid of her old yet trusty quarantine suit. Because of this, interacting in the outside world was a reality that she never dared to live in. However, she still can't deny the fact that she wanted to feel normal to be a part of the universe that has been tempting her to be explored ever since she had the right mind of her own. She had the certain desire to experience what it was like to be a teenager, which persuaded her to ask her parents if she could attend classes. Her parents knew too well that signing her up in the morning schedule, along with the other bunch of high school kids, can be a huge factor of stress to her body. That's why the best they could do to grant their fragile daughter's wish was to enroll her in an academy which offers night school programs. The only institution that offers classes in the night time is the school that she is currently in right now, and the only level that they are handling for this program is preschool. Yen thought it was quite silly, but nevertheless, she still took this one and only opportunity for her to experience being educated at dilapidated classrooms and not just inside their kitchen like she has been receiving for years. Being homeschooled is totally not working for a glutinous girl like her. The only part of her that becomes full every time her homeschooling sessions have ended in her, have ended is her stomach. She has been a part of the night school program for two years now and in a few months she'll be graduating in kindergarten. It may seem petty to others but she was pr very proud of this. A blissful tune of graduation played randomly in her mind, which persuaded her to hum silently in joy. Her face was once again adorned with a wide closed eye smile as the peacefulness of the bathroom was surely bringing her mood up. Her night school classes started at 6 p.m., 45 minutes away from now. She is usually dropped at the institute around 5, since that, is, since that time is also the start of his father's job in in telecommunications company. It doesn't bother her though. The school is pretty much deserted a few minutes after the morning schedule's dismissal time. Just as she was about to wipe her beloved buns with a handful of quality tissue, a knock was heard on the stall. She shrugged the sudden sound off to continue her business, but then it was immediately followed with another set of knocks. Hanako-san, Hanako-san, are you there? She swore she felt a vein throbbing in her head as her precious bathroom time was interrupted. Immediately she cleaned herself up and fixed her suit back in her body to face whoever it was that decided to disturb her throne time. Hey, do you mind someone's trying to take a dump here? As she opened the store door, a confused girl welcomed her, welcomed her sight. Yin raised an eyebrow to catch her, frantically waving her hands while stuttering an apology. So sorry, I, I miscalculated. I was supposed to knock on the third door. Um, that's the end of that chapter. Um, that was, like, really funny. Uh, the end was, like, so awkward. Um, I had to read this fast because I had four minutes, and it took four and a half minutes 
to read, so yeah, um, bye.